Islam does not allow an individual to harm even an ant without any cause or any living thing. Even when you come to the masjid to do ablution, to pray, you should not even waste water. Our Prophet mentioned, you're supposed to wash yourself three times, your arms. And if you do it the fourth time, that means you're wasting water. It's a complete way of life. In every aspect of the environment, whether it is saving, conserving water, whether it's looking after trees, whether looking after pollution. Religion basically, um, they can play a very important role in making the world green. What we can do to is first of all is make the public aware of it. I know a lot of people, for example, in this community, maybe over 50% of them don't even know about climate change. And the other 50% that they know doesn't even know how it works. Of course, this part comes down in celebration. I teach here in the weekend school and I try to tell them, you know, this is very important that you look after the environment because this is what makes us keep going. And when I talk to them and when I give them valid reasons, you understand, and backed by facts, then definitely they start to think in a different direction. Myself, I believe in climate change, that we are contributing because Islam does not negate science in any aspect. There's the different theories behind it, but we all agree upon it that we should not do anything that causes climate change and harm to human beings or any other creatures. You should be well aware of it and try your best to convey the message to others. As an imam, as a leader in the community, this is, this is my responsibility.